Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today, I'm tired. <laughs> I didn't know how I was going to start this, but I am. I'm feeling tired. Today we were emptying out the rooster house because we're thinking of putting it for the chickens. I'd like to kind of change their their outside run a little bit because of this big rains that we've been getting. The roof is making it flood and the cement area is making it flood and I'm thinking I need to do something different. But I like my nesting boxes so I got to figure out something and then I got to figure out a way to make the chickens go into their new home when we do do it. I don't know when we'll do it but it's it's in the works. It's in the thought process. It hasn't and nothing has moved. Just the stuff that was in the building. And I don't know if you remember all that stuff I carried out to the building. Well, I carried it to my she shed. And you'd think I'd get the 5,000 steps with all the back and forth that I did. Uh-uh. I maybe got 2,000 steps out of that. So I've still got about 2,000 more to go. So that means I've only gotten 3,000 for me. 3,000 plus a little. I want to say hello, but I have to see if she's there. So I'm going to use my magic mirror. I was watching Frank and Tina's um, live stream and there was a little person there and I saw this little person and I want to just say hi in case she's watching. I don't know if she is. <laughs> ah, I do see you. Hi Beanie. I see Beanie. You know you've got a really nice family. Really nice family. They're funnier than heck. Is heck a bad word? No. No. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> They're just funny. Well, Beanie, you have a nice night, honey. Okay? And I'll talk to you at another time. I also made the soup that Voon made a long time ago. I'll put that little link in right or that little video. It's not a link. I'll put well, I'll put her link in the more section, but I'll put the little video in right here. Today I was watching Voon and she was making a sausage um, meatball and it made, reminded me of the the meatball, the meal that she made with the meatballs, the turkey, and I put spinach and this time I put some Swiss chard in here. But I like it, whoa, it's really steaming up. We'll let it unsteam a minute. Okay. I put a lot of, um, I put a lot of Swiss chard in here and spinach because I like the greens and it's got mushrooms oh it's going to be so good and then we'll put some Romano cheese on it but it's it's delicious I thank Boone for her giving me the idea again Jim came home but then he went to mow so um, we'll be eating pretty soon Boone was making um, sausage meatballs and it brought to mind the day that she made the the beef meatballs with the turkey and she made like a turkey soup and so I did that but I put a lot of um, greens in mine. She, I don't think she put, I think if she put any in hers, I don't know if she did or didn't. I can't remember. I'd have to watch the video again. But um, I put a lot of Swiss chard in it because Swiss chard is ready in the garden and Swiss chard is like spinach but it's, I think it's tastier. And I put some spinach in it so it looks really green. But there's a lot of chicken in there and there's meat, beef meatballs in that. And it's what you saw just a minute ago. Or a half a minute ago or whatever. I think, oh I don't want to say that word. The um. <laughs> I don't like it. I cut it out a lot. Did you notice that you don't see it too many times? But I say it a lot. And when I'm editing, I cut that word out because I don't want to see it. So you'll only see one of those there today. <laughs> <laughs> the one I just talked about. But otherwise, you're not going to see them. So that's all I have. For oh, I was going to tell you about my chicken. The chicken that's in the house that's supposed to hatch her eggs on the 21st, the little buff, she's not doing what she's supposed to do. Ah, Silver hatched out her five babies, and so what has this hen been doing? She's acting like a nanny hen or a stepmother or something. She's even clucking and telling them to come eat, and I found a couple of them just sitting underneath her. She's abandoned her eggs, 
I was going to take the egg, but it, it was pretty cold, So, I, but I was going to put it under um, Blackie's. Did I just say that word again? Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I, if I did, it's going to be gone. <laughs> <laughs> I could have put it under Blackie, but I was afraid it was too cold and it, it's not going to hatch. And the other egg, they actually broke one of the eggs. It must have had nothing in it, and it was just messy in the straw and the hay in the grass for the nesting box so I cleaned that out and she's been just clucking with the babies instead of paying attention to her so I hope when the 21 days is there she is at the end of her broodiness and I can open up the the gate and let her out because she can't stay up there forever that wouldn't be good and Blackie's eggs will hatch I think about I don't know, maybe 10 days later. I'm not even sure. I'd have to look on the calendar. But that is my video for today. I hope you all had a great day. I'm getting warm now thinking about this word that I try not to say. So I will talk to you all again tomorrow. You take care. Bye-bye.